using your first computer. Hi, welcome to our Scratch Superhero introduction class. In this class, you'll be using your first computer programming language called the Scratch Computer Programming Language to build your first program. Scratch is easy. It's kind of like virtual Legos. Let's go and get started. First, you'll need to navigate to the website scratch.mit.edu. Once you get there, you should see a page that looks like this. Then you can go and click Create at the top. You can go ahead and close the tutorial because I'll be walking through this with you today. First, I want to talk about the editor. On the left-hand side, you can see all the blocks that we have access to. We've got motion blocks, look blocks, event blocks, control blocks. In the middle, we have our, our where we build our program. This is where we're going to drag our blocks into in order to build our program. On the right-hand side, we have our stage. This is where we see the results of the blocks that we drag in. You can see on my stage there's a cat right now. Down at the bottom, you can see there's the sprite that controls the cat. If I go ahead and click on this X button here, it'll delete that. Now today, we're going to be building a story. So I want you to go ahead and pick a background for where you want your story to take place. You can pick a background by clicking on this button right here. I'm going to go ahead and pick, hmm, maybe a desert. Next, I want you to pick a character for your story. You can do that by clicking on the uh, Choose a Sprite button, which is right next to the Backdrop button. When you click on Choose a Sprite, you should see all sorts of different options. Let's see. I'm going to pick the elephant. That looks pretty good. Now, you can go ahead and position your elephant where you want him to start. We're going to add a few blocks in our, into our code space here. The first block we need is an event block. It's this one, when flag clicked. This tells our program where to start. Everything we attach to this block will happen in order. So first I want to show you the motion block, the move 10 steps. If I attach that to when flag clicked and I click on the flag, you can see my elephant moves 10 steps. I have to keep clicking the flag though to make it move, which is not so, not so good. So in order to fix that, I'm going to use what's called a loop. A loop is what we can use in a computer programming language to do something over and over again. You can find the loop under control. I'm going to use the forever loop. If I go ahead and put the move block inside of the forever loop, and then I attach the forever loop to the one flag clicked block, if I click on the flag, you can see now my elephant goes off the screen. That's not really good though because he's gone and I can't see him anymore. So in order to fix this, I need a few more blocks. I'm going to go back to motion, and I'm going to use the if on edge bounce block. Now if I run my program, you can see my elephant all of a sudden he bounces off the edge of the screen. One problem though is that he turns upside down every time he does that. We can fix that with this set rotation style left right block. I'll need to put that inside of the loop though to do this. There we go. Now it looks like he's walking back and forth just like I want him to. This is looking great. Go ahead and get your program to the stage where mine is right now. Make sure your main character is moving across the screen and you have a background picked out. Okay, if you have everything picked out, we're going to go ahead and add a few more pieces. Maybe your character is moving too quickly. In order to slow him down, I can go to the control blocks, and I can use the wait block. If I put this here at the bottom of the loop, it waits one second every time it does the next 10 steps. That's a little slow, though, maybe a little bit too slow. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0 0.5. That's a little bit faster, but maybe even still too slow. So I'm going to change this from 0 0.5 to 0 0.2. That's a little bit better. One other problem is that my elephant is static. He's not moving very much. It looks like he's just kind of frozen. In order to make him move, I'm going to go ahead and go to the looks button here and change his costume every time he takes a step. There we go. Now he's a little bit more animated. This is looking pretty good, but I want to add a few more details. A couple of blocks you might find that are kind of cool are under the looks blocks here. We've got this change color effect block by. We also have the say and think blocks. These can be useful if you want to add dialogue to your story. First, we'll try the color block. If I drag that in there, you can see that my elephant changes colors. It changes a different color every time it takes a step. I don't know if I like that, so I'm actually going to get rid of that block. But maybe I want to add dialogue. There we go. Now he stops and says hello every two seconds. I can go and change this to whatever I want to say. There we go. 
And maybe I don't really like that either. So I can change this from that to maybe he thinks the word instead, instead of just saying it out loud. There we go. I want you to add some dialogue to your story. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can go ahead and add another character as well. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something and you had a chance to practice your programming skills. Go ahead and join us on online if you want to learn a little bit more at www.codeforfun.com. See you next time.